tutorial i'll talk about how to integrate a github private repository with jenkins using ssh keys and ssh url so as i said there are two type of repositories public and private Pub for public repositories you do not need any authentication mechanism but in case of private repository you need some authentication mechanism so that your jenkins can authenticate github and their connection can be set up Right. So there are two ways how you can authenticate. One is personal access token, which we have already discussed in last tutorial. Please go back and check if you need. Another thing is SSH keys. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how you can generate SSH keys and how you can use that. So there's a three step process. First, you have to generate SSH keys. You can use any tool means if you're on Mac, you can use terminal. If you're on Windows, you can use Git bash or you can any tool which support these uh, operations. Once you have these keys, so you add your SSH public key in your GitHub and you will create a credentials using SSH private key in your Jenkins. And once these are done, you should be able to integrate. So let's see demo how we can do that. So this is my private repository, AEM hyphen integration. We used same repository in last tutorial as well, but this time we'll use same repository, but we'll integrate using SSH keys. So I have created one job freestyle project as I created earlier and here the source management source code management is git so I'll add a repository but I'll add this time SSH keys so here and I'll use SSH URL copy this and add it here so if I add here if you see here So you see error like permission denied or something else. So first time in your case, you may see any of the error. Let's say this repository is not valid. You may see that as well because I'm adding earlier also to keys. So sometimes you get different errors, but the root cause is I don't have any key added here. Means I don't have any credentials, nor I have any key in my GitHub. So let's see how you can generate those keys. So if you go here uh, in GitHub, Go to your profile section, right hand side top and go to the settings and you will find a section called SSH and GPG keys. I don't have any key. If you want to see the process, just see uh, this guide to generate SSH keys. So these are the options. Go to the third one for the quickly generation of these keys and you there is a process for all uh, the operating system, but generating an SSH key is same. So if you see, you can generate using SSH, keygen, T and ED. This is my uh, algorithm, ED25519. For old systems, you can use that, but this works for all the latest systems. So I'll add my, you are my email address here. Okay, so I'm hitting this command with my email address and it say, whether you want to generate in a file. So I would say, no, I want to save in a default file. It say this file is already exist, means I are already generated earlier. In your case, you don't see this option. So I would say yes. And it say whether you want to add some passphrase. So I don't need to add passphrase as of now. So I just hit enter and it just want to reconfirm. I will again hit enter. Okay, so these keys has been generated. So what I'll do, I'll get the first primary first public key and then i'll add in a github so what i'll do i'll copy this this is the path of my public key and i would say cat and this hit this so this is my public key i will copy here go to the github and i will add a new key here so i will name like geeks ssh and copy this key here and I save it. So my the work in GitHub is done and now I will use my private key to add credentials in my Jenkins. So let me get this private key. Again, I would say cat and I need this time private key. So I will remove this dot pub. This is my private key. I'll copy complete starting from begin to end and I'll go here in my job. So what I'll do, I'll add one credentials and what kind of credential this will be. This time it will be SSH username with private key. So here I'll add, let's say same geeks SSH and description also I'll add geeks SSH. 
username would be my github username so i'd say geeks codebook and i will add my private key enter directly add and i will add my key here and i will add my credential has been created i use these credentials now geeks ssh so if you see my error is gone so you may see some errors as well let me explain that so sometimes first time you may see some permissions here on your local machine because of local machine so what you have to do you have to go here and jenkins uh, manage jenkins global configurations means configure global security and if you see the last option if you get some error that can happen on a local machine means so you can add like accept first connection uh, in case you get that error okay in your case if you get any of the error just add in comment i'll try to answer so i'll save it and i'll come back to my job this is done i'll build my master branch i have master branch and in build trigger i'll not any anything build environment i would say delete workspace just and inside this i'll add invoke top level maven target because i have a maven project so i will say clean install the same thing what i did earlier and no post build action so just save it and if i build this now and i open it console see this is start building if you see here it used these credentials geeks underscore ssh and it cloned my repository this is my repository and the rest of the things are same it execute my maven goals so and last it is it's still building and this is successful so that way you can use public and private ssh keys these keys are very important once you add your web hooks so in that case you need ssh keys so in next tutorial we'll see how you can set up a job which auto triggered when you add something in your git repository in that case you need this private and public keys i hope you understood if you have any question please add your comment thank you